I've got a few minutes to vlog, so may, might as well do it now. Yeah, it's uh, been uh, 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 sort of a, a rough patch, uh, not really a rough patch. Whenever you stop doing a heavy amount of work, and, and, and while going up on a research expedition is work, it's also kind of relaxing. It's uh, not as intense as it is being back in the office on the research desk. So, <laughs> when you do come back and you try to get into the full workload that you had before, uh, there is a bit of difficulty in doing that. And so that's what I'm doing now. Is I'm getting caught up on my vlogs. I'm getting caught up uh, on the people I need to see on YouTube. Uh, and ironically, this is kind of a back-to-school vlog. And let's kind of sort of explain this here a little bit. Uh, my uh, type of work is like being in school for the rest of your life. And it just so happens that the, when I do my uh, go up my research expedition, it's like the summer holidays. It's like going on for the summer. And so what happens is that my research projects, uh, by the time June comes around, the research projects I've been doing for the year have started to sort of, sort of trail off. They're finishing up. That they're, they're sort of just sort of being finished off. And uh, I have basically from June to July some cleaning up to do after the research projects and uh, August I'm off uh, for the research expeditions and then when I come back mid-August right, uh, when I come back uh, after August 6th uh, I begin preparing for the new research projects that will come up in September so uh, that's kind of it's, it's kind of like a uh, every September is a new year of school for me, and it kind of feels the same thing too, but it's, it feels the same way as it did when I was in grade 3, grade 4, grade 5. It's exactly the same feeling because it is a, a variety of different studying, but it, it, instead of having the studying assigned to me, I pick out what I want to do, I pick out wh where I think, and I usually, I usually pick out where I want to go in terms of my studying and what I want to study based on the research that I had done the year before. So the re my research always, the research that has been done the year before always indicates to me the research that I want to do in the following year. Now, so this is September now, we're going, we're heading towards September now, and I'm preparing, laying out the research that will be done throughout the year from September to June uh, that I think, okay, this is what I want to get done. Th these are like my goals for the year. This is where I want to be uh, next year in June. Uh, where I want to be, this is where I want to be, you know, and sort of set up, lay out a little plan there. And it's kind of like, you can't, you, you, the plan is not a specific plan because nothing can be planned specifically because things always pop up, things always uh, adjust and change and uh, <laughs> mess up. So you can never predict where you're going to be in June, but if you put get together a general idea of where you want to go, that's sort of uh, where the planning comes in. And the rest of it is sort of uh, up in the air. Um, uh, what I get done it depends on uh, if I got stuck on something, if I'm able to put together good, uh, uh, good uh, um, resolutions to the problems that I've been working on during the year. Sometimes it's impossible. Sometimes you just run into a roadblock that you just can't uh, work around. And you have to put it down. So some projects will get to a certain point and go, ah, can't go any further with that one. You put it on the shelf until you find uh, a, a solution for it. So sometimes some, some of the research uh, projects that I'm bringing, bring aren't pro they're ne not necessarily for the year that coming in September, are not necessarily new projects. There may be old projects that have been roadblocked for a bit, but now I've found a way around it and I'm bringing it back again to uh, this new year to see whether or not I could get any further with it because I've more or less figured out how to do something with it. Uh, maybe an, you know, an idea popped up, maybe some opportunities popped up that I didn't have before that could change the situation that caused the roadblock and I can work around it. So that's kind of what's going on here. Uh, I've now started begun moving further and further into uh, IPTV. Uh, that sort of what's been on my desktop for a while now is doing a lot of IPTV work. And um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting year. So, anyways, uh, that's it for now. I will vlog tomorrow. Tomorrow, so we're going to try to vlog uh, in August, almost every day in August now. Uh, I only got half of it done. I only got half of August of vlog. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, I'll get back in the swing of things. See you tomorrow. All right, bye.